Hello, wow. hello, hello. Wow. Wow. Welcome. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to season 11, episode 10 of Let's Have a Fifi. We apologize for everything that is going to happen <laughs> this episode. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are not familiar with our onesie episodes, um, I'm so sorry, and welcome to Let's Have a Fifi. Um, they never stay on topic, um, and we go That's on why topics we just gave up we on topics. never even thought of There's before, topics. and yeah, so we just gave up on topics, and here we are. Uh, we're at the annual onesie party, um... This one is virtual again this year. Um, and we have all sorts of motherfuckers in here. Uh, mm. I am Felicia Fifi Minor. And over there, just sitting back in his dad chair with disappointing oh looks. Daddy. No face, no nothing. With my special hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It's special now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Is that I poured that a little heavy, but that's, oh, is it? That's quite good. Did you put too much special in it? You it's put too good. much special. I'm not mad about it. This, <laughs> I, you know what? I highly recommend adding bourbon cream to your hot chocolate this season for a little extra festive. They don't sponsor us, but they could. <laughs> Felicia, have you had his Jim Beam? Uh, if you're sponsoring, his I'm just saying, I bought before. some Jim Ream. Have you had his limoncello before? Jim Ream. Uh, yes. Yes. Felicia has had my limoncello. Okay. <laughs> okay so you know I how that limoncello up, is liquor. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, so I keep interrupting you. No. No, God. I keep interrupting you, compa. Go ahead. Oh, my God. We oh, haven't even been able to get through just the fucking <laughs> housekeeping. I mean, we're okay, all ready. If you all get a Jim Beam sponsorship, I will just buy more Jim Beam and I don't even drink. I bought the honey kind to cook with because Mila Kunis is a sponsor and everyone got pissed about it. So I was like, hey, my non drinking ass don't cook with this shit. <laughs> Oh, makes really good wow. carrots. Oh my god! So welcome mm. to our special guest this <laughs> evening. Uh, we've got Lady Christian in the house. We've got Eve Riot, Brooklyn Demorne, Dominic Von Strap, DJ Image, Rita Bain, and Sassy D Demorne. Um, I, 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 there, I. Most of these motherfuckers are are good. You should we know what's coming. Some of them have no fucking clue, and I apologize. Sorry. Eve Riot is, you know, classy and shit, and we've thrown them in with all these other motherfuckers, and I am so sorry. It's, it's me. Hi. I'm the other You're welcome. Like, Rita Bain is very classy. No. So I, like, no, she's other not. Motherfuckers that are like, I'm she just is like, not. I'm just like, yeah. No, 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 I didn't say me. I said Rita. Mm-hmm. She's not. Rita mm. is? Rita Rita's, I like Rita's like a mess. Like oh. Rita is a mess. She looks good. Listen, listen. That's, that's, listen. That's Speaking of a mess, uh, don't forget that you can get exclusive content on our Patreon at patreon.com slash that's Um Though I uh, I will apologize uh, to our patrons. I have not gotten last week's um, extras up. It's been an insane week, and I apologize uh, for not getting those up yet. But I will get them out before the weekend so that you have an excuse if you need to, like, go in the bathroom and disappear and take some time out from family and shit. I got you. Just watch us you. when you It'll poop. happen. Mm-hmm. I got you. It'll mm-hmm. happen. Uh, we would like to thank our patrons, of course, Brandon, D, Drake Jensen, Casey Starr, Carrie and Corey, Kim, Joan, Leanne, Nicole, and Shannon. Uh, of course, special thanks to Success Boutique, um, who, uh, if y'all need uh, makeup and stuff, go to successboutique.com. They're fantastic. They ship shit out real quick. They've got all of your drag needs, um, prosthetics and stuff, too, like all the things. Get it. Um, and, um, oh, who LC designs? I don't know who the hell that is, but, um, they're pretty okay. (laughs) (laughs) Most of my, uh, my they do horrible work. There you go. I have a lot of LC shit. Girl, listen, I'm 108 in drag years and I need (laughs) you to communicate with me. Ask Freddie. Freddie has to tie notes to pigeons in order this to is true. Me on days. So this is true. at least he at least he could tie a note to a pigeon. I gotta drive all the way to your house. 
Hello. <laughs> I just need to teach you how to use the pigeons. No. Okay, she, can all, she can. She can. She, she's limited to one pigeon a month, and that it does her in one pigeon a month, and she's done. <laughs> I tried to reenact that. Get yours that early. See, I, I send the sunny slope pigeons, pigeons though, oh, no. and the sunny slope pigeons are sketchy as fuck. So it's like we have already you know where you know where we live, right? You know where oh, we live, neighbors. right? <laughs> okay, okay. Neighbors. Me, Freddie, Rita, and Elsie. We live in the same general area, okay? Oh right. Lord, I pray for. We're people. we're a block. Oh, and Geo. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm a little more central than those hoes, but it's still the same sort of general. It takes me the same amount of time to get to all y'all. Mm. I'm rocking this. And forward. of course, thank you to Wigs of a Kind. Um, yeah. So uh, if I was wearing a wig, it would probably be one of Marissa's. Uh, Felicia is sporting a Wigs of a Kind wig. Oh, yay! Model that. Mm. Yeah. And don't forget, um, if you are bored and a glutton for punishment, you can always uh, text um, LHAF two six zero two seven three zero seven three seven nine. Um, I don't know what the fuck Felicia sends out, but she sends out something. Oh, yes. artistic news. I don't know. Artistic I news. Artistic news. Oh, don't take that away yet. I was going to take that. Wait a minute. Don't take that away just yet. You know? Hold on. Never mind. I'm oh, baby, oh, just okay. giving some posing Now my ideas. partner's getting mad because I didn't put bourbon cream in. My, the bourbon cream was a last minute decision and necessary. Who's mad? And Who's mad? The my partner, oh. because I made her hot chocolate as well, and I didn't put the bourbon cream in. But the bourbon cream was a last minute addition, a, like literally, like a, right before we started. <laughs> so, like, it was a little bit of peer pressure as well. So, okay. also yeah. necessary. Yeah. Like, look at look at what I have to deal with tonight. Necessary. Well, <laughs> I mean, all you had to do was tell her you're gonna have Brooklyn, Sassy, and Dominic in one web. That's it's one small I do? corner. I didn't even do yeah, that. Hell, me and Sassy. Me and Sassy, shit. We had to be separated now. I didn't even do nothing. Wow. Did, did anybody do anything fun this weekend? What was everybody up to this weekend? Anybody do anything interesting? No, I touched a wiener. You all don't tell no. <laughs> Was it your own LC? That's a Saturday. Maybe. <laughs> no. Did you wash your hands after? No. No. You know what? Um, you know what? I will tell you. Um, I don't know. Just like drag scene. Let's talk drag scene for a second. Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys have had any um shows in like November, December, so far up to this year, but the numbers have been really kind of waning everywhere um they've been real thin mm -hmm. um and it and, and let me tell you something just so you know for the old fogey in the room besides felicia um uh we, we all i said what i said what uh, <laughs> uh, um <laughs> she goes back with me well freddie does too but um when I think what we're all thinking this season was going to be was another rendition of of us out of COVID. And mm. it, it has mm. slowly slipped back into pre-COVID holiday season. So if you're struggling, <laughs> kids, you're not alone. Just letting Lord everyone know that. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the fucking truth. I mean, not that I got doing. shit to buy. You know, or things to, you know, the dispensary, <laughs> you know, but. No, it's it's definitely been weird this holiday season, and it definitely does feel like pre-COVID, when everybody was like, okay, we're going bye, and then we don't see anyone until, like, February again. So, yeah. That hibernate. Yeah, it almost feels like, like, honestly, like, coming from, like, obviously, like, a different state, Florida had a really similar, like, sort of, like, seasonal period. Ooh. Ooh, not the bite to the face. Ooh. Ooh. Brooklyn, if you don't but, mute your ass, I'm going to go over there to your goddamn trailer. Seriously, and oh my God, Brooklyn, hit the mute button. <laughs> oh my God, don't you know etiquette? God, Wait, I can do it too. Wait. Right, oh, that's true. We can mute her. We can also like just remove her too. She gets too rowdy. There you go. Bam! <laughs> oh! Oh! No, I didn't mean it. Yo. Yo. What happened? What happened, girl? 
Yo. We don't know what. Yo. Oh, technology. Technology. Oh, just took a boot out. So what I know Ooh. is Felicia can pull, put somebody in timeout. That's all. That's all I heard. So I was Alicia, like, oh. I can put this timeout. So act right. Or, to myself. But no, like, um, like as I was saying, like in Florida, we also had like kind of like an off season. This one though feels like super different because like the queens are also dipping out. Like everyone is going back home. Yeah. Everyone is traveling. It's like, like it, it just seems like a ghost town. Even like we were doing like the Ripple Phoenix like Sunday Sports Jam, and the last one, it feels like the the queer sports leagues did their award shows, and then everyone was like, deuces. Jeez. Like it was. It was very, very slow. So I just think that people are kind of trying to take advantage of maybe the holidays and travel a little bit more. And maybe that feels I, like pre-COVID. I think that's kind of what's happening. I think I think finally, even though it's interesting because COVID, RSV, the flu are making a comeback because nobody's wearing masks anymore. Nobody's been sick mm -hmm. for two years. Now all of a sudden everybody's got the flu and RSV. Um, but I think I think folks are are trying to get back to some sort of like actual normalcy because I think this is the first year after the pandemic where everybody feels really normal kind of, you know? So it's like, Safe. I never been people normal. are now trying to kind of travel and do things that they weren't doing before that they were doing before, you know, like we're, we're, we're taking the kids to Disneyland. Cause we're like, we need to do something different. We need to some, you know, switch shit up. Let's just do this. So I think that's oh, yeah. like I think yeah, that's kind of where for like three years. Yeah. yeah. Just wanted to put it out there. If you guys are family. feeling no, it I right feel now, it. you're not alone. And no, definitely um, not. It'll it'll kick around. It'll kick around. It'll come back around. That's Trust the old it. woman. Because <laughs> I've been, honey, my pocketbook's been feeling it. And if it mine is, then I'm sure all y'all's, because I'm so much better than everyone on this podcast. <laughs> I'm all but uh, uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me mute this. Let me mute this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. We can't hear you anymore, Elsie. So I feel like, no. Elsie needs to terrible. Turn <laughs> this up when I say this by my own choice. You're welcome. Not by oh. someone else's accord, but I digress. So, did anybody like have oh. like a, a good like? Did you did y'all do good things on the weekend? Was everybody just staying at home, or you all just oh, we supposed to do good things on the we, we had an art and holiday fair with some drag booths. Oh, uh, added this past weekend, so uh, I went as a very casual Krampus. Um, and one of our regular drag queens, uh, Juicy, uh, Juicy CW, Juicy Couture, uh, also went as an elf, and we had a few other drag booths there. Oh, and it was very well attended, so um, I think it shows that. <laughs> and where was this at? We had a, uh, I live in San Luis Obispo, California. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, we have a we have a small but strong drag scene. Uh, I think it kind of scaled back a little bit this winter, but that meant that because there were fewer events, everyone was really hungry for them. Uh, and it was also a mm. fundraiser event. So we had people bringing food for the food bank and we had uh, free mom hugs there among some other groups. Oh, as well we as love some free mom hugs. That's for dancer. Yeah. They were at uh, my, my mom uh... was there. She's going to join. So I'm so excited. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> She's oh, like, wait, what had, is uh... this? We had, had free no mom idea. hugs. Uh, we had free mom hugs at uh, the drag story hour that I did on Saturday because they were there um, posting up and trying to block the protesters. We had all Aww. ten <laughs> protesters and a baby. Did they spell their signs right? Um, I wasn't looking. I, I'm guessing probably not, which is probably why they probably <laughs> should be attending. The yes, I did. Y'all laugh. Spelled but... my sign correctly. <laughs> 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 I, I'm just that saying, so um, every time they protest a drag event, they spell words wrong or they're grammatically incorrect. So, But let they... them keep protesting <laughs> things that promote literacy because that makes perfect sense. Fucking idiots. Yeah, they, they didn't stay understood. long. They didn't stay long. They were there. Free mom hugs. Like they all posted up in front of, uh, in front of Brick Road Coffee. And man, you don't fuck with them. You you do not fuck with the free mom hugs. Like you see them, yeah. they're they're they 
they don't fuck around. Well, and now so dads was... are starting to join too. So, mm-hmm. uh, oh, yeah. they have right. <laughs> There's some dads. Oh my god. Okay. Here. So here's my, okay, every time I do a drag story hour, I get so fucking mad because there's all, like, there's all these dads come in. I'm like, oh, my God. And they're all fucking cute as fuck. I'm like, what the hell? Uh." And so you're not getting any numbers? I'm not seeing the problem here. Right. Like, the problem is I don't hear him getting any numbers. Uh, Because Because Jace is in there. Almost all straight is. And that also. also. Otherwise, trust me, I oh. would be like, "Hey, how you the, doing?" They're all what? They're all straight. So and a lot of them. Up. <laughs> and a lot of them are <laughs> kind of like uh, they're a little young. They're like yeah. young dads, and I'm like, Ain't "Oh, you're really cute, but also <laughs> no." There's a lot. Mm-hmm. No, What's wrong with that. There's a lot. No, I, I can't. I can't. When you've got like kids that are in their twenties, I can't do it. I'm like, no. You can't be raising somebody. No. Who's raising somebody that just don't work. It don't. It yeah. Don't work mm. <laughs> you raising no, okay, I, 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 and y'all, want, want y'all trying to get a relationship. I'm just trying to get some eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> That's because That's you're very just trying to get conscious. some fresh vegetables. Some fresh vegetables. You're health conscious. You're really wrong. Think about, like, you know, I'm I'm on get this, your vitamins. I'm on this supervised weight loss. I need all the protein that I can get. Uh-huh. I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> just saying. Mm-hmm. Completely healthy. <laughs> Lifestyle uh-huh. changes. I am. Thank you, Felicia mm-hmm. and Eve, for backing me up in this healthy lifestyle. Lifestyle changes. <laughs> Uh, I it's just, not a fling, uh, you it's know. a lifestyle yeah. change. Eve's <laughs> 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 well, like, let me refill my tea. Well, I just, uh, last time I got to perform with uh, Freddie and Felicia, they remember what I did with vegetables last time. So I'm just like, what are we doing mm, with yeah, vegetables, vegetables, Eve? So. <laughs> Uh, I have a performance think, yeah. with a partner, uh, a, a fellow performer, Tart of Darkness, and I, where we violently chop vegetables. Actual we, vegetables. Mm-hmm. Is it, then, right, yes. <laughs> is it to the tune of Chopping Broccoli by David Spade? No, no wrong guy. Sorry. To the tune no. of Hall of the Mountain King. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was pretty phenomenal. It was pretty fantastic, not going to lie. It, it was okay. What were y'all it using? A... What were y'all using to chop? Uh, vegetable Actual peelers. Oh, Actual vegetable oh. peelers. No, Michelle. No. Okay. Never mind. No. It, uh, we, the, a knife does way. get pulled out at the very end, uh, but it's just very <laughs> violent vegetable peeling. Uh, and then uh, uh, there is some like actual breakage of vegetables oh, mm-hmm. and biting oh. of carrots of, of whatnot. It's a very fun act. Uh, it's, it, was, it was great. I was, I was, I was enjoying it thoroughly. Mm. You should do like a sequel to it where you take all the chopped vegetables and you make ratatouille. You're just dressed as a mouse. Oh my goodness! Mice. I just like, just, just, like just, just dress as a mice, like wow. I just like just make ratatouille for no reason on stage. Like, I mean, I there's a reason. Part of <laughs> there's a reason. <laughs> I'm here for that. Um, I am so here for that. Just make, get the like <laughs> scroungy beard and be like the weird, shitty drug dream rat type, type mouse. Hey, how you wow. doing? <laughs> wow. wow. We went in on that. We went Y'all in on that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm already picturing the whole thing like, okay. Oh. <laughs> Not the Benadryl hallucination mouse. That's what he was going for. <laughs> it wasn't It. It wasn't been Bless a drill. It, 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 it was the no. other stuff. <laughs> right. I'm going to Google this. I hold on. A hyper oh, I don't know. Uh, entertainment cheese. <laughs> Rita, oh, whatever. Chuck e. Cheese. I was also thinking of uh, Raccoonatui from Everything Everywhere All at Once from earlier this year because she couldn't remember. I still place, haven't so. fucking seen it. <gasps> it's, it's I, know, I know. I know. I know. Oh, I'll just be honest. I, I cried through either. two face masks. <laughs> but it's very funny. Oh, Okay. 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 I wasn't a movie, which means last. we have to time it right because my partner is not allowed to watch emotional movies during certain times. Oh. It's like the water on her. She turned into you know, a good for her. Kind of don't watch at a certain time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
there's certain I can't watch emotional movies at a, a certain time. I turn into just an emotional hose these I have a world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, all of a sudden. Has anybody seen any particular uh culture this year that they would also like rate very highly from the particular from this year? They can say performances as well. Oh, damn, Freddie. Hmm. You pissing her off. Yeah, she's fine. She's just mad because I have the bourbon cream in she here. She said what she said she doesn't know when those times are anymore. And what's your excuse? <laughs> um <laughs> Ooh. I don't need one. I'm a man. Okay. Uh-huh. This, is true. Man. Yeah. this is true. Men this is true. Me and her bitches. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Well, I'm crying <laughs> <I'm laughs> for no fucking reason. You well, right, Freddie. Like that. You right, Freddie. We like that. Like that. It's nice. I, <laughs> I back you 100, percent brother. Thank you. See. See. 20 minutes in. Damn. And unless right? we talk like that. Unless their it, estrogen is low in there, they, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> They don't cry or laugh. Already, already <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just sit here and just Child, Tyler don't cry down. or laugh anymore. His his testosterone too high and his estrogen too low. He walked around like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. I have to draw a smiley face on him. <laughs> Just he sharpie it evil. on every day. No, he got this evil ass smirk. He'd be like, I'd be like, oh fuck, he's gonna kill me tonight, y'all. He is gonna kill me tonight. He'd be like, I love you. Oh. <laughs> All right, Joker, calm down. Um, That's how he be, bitch. <laughs> um. <laughs> are we still talking about what we did? We did. Are we past that? Part? Yes. 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 Oh, Absolutely. Girl. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Rita said over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I am right now. What the hell y'all been talking about ever... for twenty damn minutes? We don't know where you at. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy, ever. <laughs> that creepy picture on the wall. What the hell? Oh, wait, first of all, that Which is creepy CJ. Picture? At our honeymoon, <laughs> it's oh, called. I got that. Who said that? Seven ninety nine at a homosexual yard sale. Uh, man. And there it is. Why? How do you, you know do the this, yard is homosexual? What you do this weekend, sassy? Um, I <laughs> dress like a damn donkey. <laughs> I got the costume out of your closet. Anyway. Oh, oh. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's because I'm um, a Democrat. It's because I'm a Democrat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why you're an ass. Uh, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> so, at my job, we did queerness this weekend. And um, queerness essentially is where we give gifts to all the youth that don't celebrate the holidays or aren't particularly close to their family. So, I did that that morning and then that night I went to Slave Bells where um they cast some elements and <laughs> um Minx and Joey J and Coco Montreux before I stayed for the first set and then went home and then and Sunday was the magic uh cast Christmas party and that was really so stupid. I legitimately <laughs> did not realize that elements was still a thing. Yeah every Friday every Friday no fucking they are, clue. How they are Didn't literally it was still, the still they're because they're covered in bachelor dress. Mm. It is and they're they a bunch of women on that stage. White women and they're a bunch of women on that stage, half naked, with the lesbian bachelorettes. Of course, they're gonna stay busy. All the bachelorettes aren't lesbians. Maybe the reason they they be when they leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They doing good. They don't oh need God. it. I'll see. Okay. I'll see. You. The mess. Yeah. What I said. I wow. did laundry. That was very productive. It was nice. <laughs> oh, I've I've yeah, played so the new wonderful. Pokemon game. That was great. Uh, I tried to do laundry. There's a new Pokemon game. But yes. wait, there's a new one. Kids are assholes and broke my dryer and didn't tell nobody. So I had four loads of wet clothes until we figured out that the dryer was broken. I worked my ass off. Uh, to make that sure that sounded that dryer... really disgusting. You got four loads of wet laundry. 
That's uh, <laughs> say it again. You, Felicia. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> Say it again. Apparently, <laughs> it's fine to take like you know you have a laundry basket, right? Laundry basket is usually at least two loads of 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 Not clock, four right? loads it's in a wet easy. basket. No, uh, tried to uh, throw the whole fucking thing in there. <laughs> it's so fucking heavy. He threw it in the dryer. The snapped the fucking thing. Didn't tell nobody. Didn't tell nobody. Went to go do laundry. Realized the thing wasn't spinning. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me right now?" I was gonna kill him. The wiring's I managed to good, fix though, right? it today because I am a handyman, because that's what home ownership does to you. Well, oh. with four loads in a wet basket, maybe what? I think you are a handyman. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I be squirtling and dirtling over here. <laughs> Oh, is that what the new Pokemon game's about? I didn't see Squirtle in it, no, but I'm starting to remember <laughs> what game. Y'all leave Squirtle out of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's they life. made a character called Lickitung that makes you go paralyzed by using a move called you Lick. Know. You know? They did it I know. Oh my god. I did, I did that you, do you have a Pokemon seven. performance since you have a Ronald McDonald performance? You know, I should make one. The thing is yeah. that the kids that like play Pokemon tend to like stay home and get stoned and play Pokemon and not go to drag shows. So I'm gonna need them. Oh. I don't feel come, like feeling cold. Ah, you'd be. Oh fun. my god! Dude, you have a you have a Ronald Pokemon. McDonald There's number, so Rita. many Pokemon numbers now. I think you need to figure now. a duet. I think I you need think to figure a duet. I think you'd be surprised, Rita. I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do an entire show of just Pokemon. I have some good concepts for some Pokemon. I'm not going to Laura Renfro. Yeah, I am a stoner that plays Pokemon. I come out for drag shows, so I'll be there if you do a Pokemon number. I'm that was rude. I'll, I'll just show up she because won't it's a Pokemon you, number. But she may be in oh. the audience. No, I just don't well, think you. I said you. what I <laughs> said. <laughs> it's right, just well, you I don't uh, Since I gave it's you the concept, just please remember you. to hire me. Thank you. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to like put you as a concept like editor in there. Eve, Eve Everyone's going to get a tag. Eve like a writer's credit fee. on the Beyonce album. All y'all going to be on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No, I love her. I love her. I love her. Okay, let me not. Like... Since I am drinking tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to give you a writer's me too. tea. Now I'm going to have people in my inbox. That's not. Oh, no, we have stuff yet to get onto them. I'm like, you are not allowed. I'm gonna be like Carrie Hilson. I'm gonna have albums thrown at me on the streets. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say this with all honest truth to all of you who are on here today. Oh God! Not a damn one of you give a fuck about getting canceled because if you did, you wouldn't be on the same goddamn podcast I'm sitting on tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> First of all, you act right, you don't get canceled. Calling shit what it really is is not getting canceled. Mm. Hello. No, being racist. Okay. So, I, I, I do, in fact, okay, because we do this every year, and this is our, you know, this is our sort of our holiday kind of shindig on the Fifi, shindig, right? Shindig, shindig, so I do have some things shindig. that I did want to, to kind of go like go through like go over with y'all because i feel like these, these are these cats, are important Freddy. things that we need to talk about like these are things that we need to talk about this is it i talk with my hands this is what it is in fact i was told by a judge once that i use my hands a lot <laughs> I was once okay told, don't Facts. be afraid to not move is this... and then i was told i don't move enough i it's so fucking stupid. Okay, so <laughs> I want to know. I use my hands a lot too. I want to know what is the worst gift you have ever received? None. Ooh. Ooh. No gift at all. <laughs> I, that's See a cop no out. You can't, you can't say no gift. It has to be something. To be People something don't awful. give me anything. I really get no gifts. Oh well, okay. I got then. the gift that I got was from, was from U and D. I got a gift from U and D last no, no, year. No, no, it's fine. We'll just we'll skip you for now. <laughs> so <laughs> then we can move on to that. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, you out. Y'all keep her out. Taking these down. Not the I was like, wait a minute. 
Not the kicker out. Oh, if it's time out. Yes, <laughs> oh God, we broke Elsie. Except I can leave. <laughs> Y'all are. T- I'm mad. Oh, she said, fuck Elsie. her. <laughs> Damn, y'all broke out. Oh. Right, besides she Brooklyn, got... what is the worst <laughs> gift you've ever received? I oh my God. had a bad gift once. Like, it wasn't just bad, it was, it was insensitive. Don't ask if you don't want to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said so slime <laughs> with no camera on. <laughs> it's giving very saw villain. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst oh, gift I ever got was Brooklyn. Go. Sassy gone now. <laughs> oh my God, that was broke Sassy. Jesus Christ. Oh. Just oh, y'all get it together. Here. Y'all get it together. Oh God. Uh, I don't, you can't say that. I don't know if it was a really good gift because of how hilarious it was, or good, but it was freaking horrible <laughs> at the time. Um, I was still in high school, and one of my friends ended up being my secret Santa person, and um, they left the gift at my door, no name or anything. All it said on it was, don't open in front of your family. I didn't read that part. And oh, it God. was oh, a bunch. You no, know, it was right after I got outed at school, but I wasn't out to my family yet. And it was um, those stupid finger condom band aid things. <laughs> like, you have to sex. I'm proud of you. And uh, I thought it was hilarious, but I opened it in front of my family. What's that? I'm like, oh, because I work at the Renaissance Festival and ha, 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 I work in the kitchen and I'm clumsy. <laughs> yeah, so that was, um, oh, that was fun. Oh, no. And they fell for that? You met, no, Freddie, Felicia, y'all met my mother. Yeah. Uh huh. She'd fall for it. No nonsense. <laughs> Damn. No. And she'd Damn. fall for that. No nonsense, but naive. Bless her heart. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that makes sense, it. baby. Okay. Oh, how yeah. thoughtful mm-hmm. of them protecting your fingers. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. That was a thoughtful gift. It's a little silly, but I know, I guess it's not expensive. Exactly. Uh, uh, precisely. Okay. All right, Sassy, what was yours? Oh, um, <clears throat> sorry. I had an ex. This is partially the reason they're my ex. Just one. Um, <laughs> one wow. One oh. of them. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no shit here. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more alcohol. I'll be back. No, I'm gonna I don't. Get... I don't. I'm, I'm going to go get I'm some more alcohol. Okay, I'll I'm be good. back. Um, well, we're gonna... Like you leaving the house? I remember I told you this. I <laughs> Lord, why is Eeyore okay? All right. Um, I had an ex who decided to give me a, a necklace and it was real nice, but it had initials on it and they were not mine. Oh my god, grandma! Oh, we texted. Oh my god, uh, no, they were the girl they were supposed to be those two initials. <laughs> okay, so that's worse than not getting a gift. You I, yeah, I'd rather just just don't give me shit. Mm-hmm. But, but did don't she give me somebody get the else. Oh, did you oh. get the necklace? Oh no, no, he got to give her the necklace, and there was a lovely note from me inside of it. Because either way, it oh. would have gone but to a know, pawn shop. Her. So you know what I mean? Oh no, I let him give it to her, and then when she right called away. me, I told her what happened. I still hope you so. kept it. <clears throat> Why not? And I would kept it. No. And I have no clue. Right, 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 right. Do you remember what the initials were? Um, they were TLH, H, TLH, and I'm like, Tyra Marie. You could have wore that and said, "Thank Lord Heavens." See, look at that. Religious, religious necklace, if you will. Right. But my Brooklyn, you get crazy again. You're gonna disappear. <laughs> no, my petty one's heavy though, so I I kindly wrote the lovely note on the inside for the young lady. So when she got the necklace, she oh, you called her a young lady. Wow, wonderful for you. Oh, it's not wonderful. Wow. Wow. Well, it's yeah, that nigga. Hello. That's the nice mm-hmm. way of me saying that raggedy bitch, but I mean, 
young lady. Also. No, but it's not even her fault. Oh no, it was. It could have been. Oh. It was one of his coworkers. That's why it was also her fault. Oh, you know. oh, he a work hoe. We need a part two. He we was, need a part two. Was, <laughs> nah, that's good. That, that, honestly, that's. I haven't told that story since I told somebody what not to get me for Christmas. Yeah, that's sassy. Mm-hmm. She told me that's if you let your, if you let your old auntie give you a little bit of advice. I wrote oh, a poem a couple years ago, and it goes like Lord. this. Oh God, cut her off. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick to the river. I hate you. <laughs> oh, no. How we turn this off? How we turn this off? <laughs> oh, no. Make Brooklyn disappear again, though. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know my Elsie? Why do you put Elsie in time out for that shit? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Elsie, what was the worst Christmas gift you've ever gotten? A oh, toothbrush. Girl. Or, like or, I ever or, used or birthday it. or whatever. Worst gift you've ever gotten. Um, I got divorce papers. Oh. But that was bad? For Christmas? Um, well, you know, it was at the time, but in retrospect, <laughs> it was the greatest gift I ever gave or was ever given to me now. It wasn't a time because was... he wasn't dead yet. You couldn't collect that insurance. Gotcha. Correct. Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> but it was one of those situ- see, here's a little tidbit about your old auntie. It was one of those things where my marriage was not legal because he was already legally married. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. So when I got my attorney, I literally was able to walk away with everything just fine because it null and voided oh, my marriage. Oh, but he, was very, but he was very abusive. So, yeah, you know. fuck that puto. <laughs> but Sorry. I'd still Not fuck him to this. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, though, hold up, I'd still fuck him. But, bitch, there's a <laughs> difference between fucking and Wait, giving them a key to your house. Learn the difference. I'm going to tell you something. If I can give all the gays advice for this holiday season, learn the difference <laughs> between fucking and loving. And that's mm. when you know you're grown. I see so There's many of you me- uh, uh, washing around the mistletoe like a bad laundromat, and, and you can't figure <laughs> out nothing for your damn selves. And honestly, if you learn the difference between the two, you'd be so much happier in life. It is freeing. That and the ability to no longer give a fuck. But when you stop giving a fuck fuck about everybody else and everything else other than what pays your rent, what puts a roof over your head, what feeds you, what nurtures you, (laughs) and what fucking God game gives you purpose. Other than that, get the hell out. What if you love hmm? to fuck, though? Huh? What if you love to fuck? <laughs> like, reverse the words, you you know. Well, you can love to fuck, sugar, but you, you don't need to love every fuck, either. Oh, See, what if, okay, what if every fuck loves you? You can love you know. all the fucks, but is it a love fuck, a pity fuck, a hate fuck? Uh, oh, a fucking we fuck. just whatever it needs to be. Just a regular. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, oh listen, regular, this is spiritual. Uh, you allowed the fuck to meet you where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> at Amen. the cross, at the cross, where I went wrong. Hallelujah. I feel like I need to but find you. Oh, my God. DJ <laughs> Image, what was the worst gift you've ever gotten? <laughs> Lady Christian. <laughs> Being invited to this webcast. I am so sorry. <laughs> you haven't said nothing all night. That's first. Oh. That's why he said oh. nothing. You muted. I think he's are you, you are muted. You muted? <laughs> You're muted. That's why. Are you, he's you probably been talking the whole fucking time. Are you eating animals? But we couldn't hear him. Ew. That's why. No. Can't hear you. Are you Not eating animals? Nope. No, he's no. Not a fucking thing. All right. Fuck. Great. Oh my That's God, why. All right, we'll come Freddy. back to you. Rita. Not the DJ so not being able to work. <laughs> That's how he be What was the worst too, gift so you okay. were ever given? 
be honest, I am really like grateful. Like I have a lot of really like thoughtful people in my life. So I don't really, I don't think I can really recall a bad gift, you know? People be listening to me. I think they're afraid of what happened. <laughs> so. Rita's like, everybody's watching this. I love everything that everyone has ever gotten me. And world well, peace. Well, they just like, listen, peace. I feel like I bitch so much about like, I make it known what I want. I don't, I don't leave it up to surprise. So like, I'm always like, listen, I bitch about it for months. And then when I get like something that's like, that I don't want, which I always kind of like find like a use. What about now? It. Yeah, ah, we heard you. Oh, we heard you. Oh my God, this whole time what? I was what? talking no. shit. Oh, I was yeah. talking <laughs> shit this whole time. No one heard me. <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> Not a goddamn <laughs> thing. Not no. a goddamn thing. We just thought that you have been a single word. Well, I've been, e I said I was gonna eat one of these and I'm finished the Oh, I thought bag. you were eating edibles. Um. Well, I just want to start by saying I really love how you guys take Brooklyn out whenever you want. I love that. <laughs> That's my favorite part do. of the show. Um, <laughs> now, if we could do that at the real show. Go to get him. <laughs> if we could do that at the real show. Be <laughs> well, first off, first off, I don't go to the shows just like nobody shows up at yours. So. Uh, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me excuse myself. Let me excuse myself. I'm fucking sassy. <laughs> sassy, you fucking. That being said, come see me on Friday at Stacey's Friday, please. I'm just kidding, y'all. You know, he's an amazing DJ when his, work. Work. <laughs> when his when his music works. He's an amazing DJ. <laughs> When you book people like Sassy and Rita, you might not get an audience, you know? That's oh! 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 I'm the new Come on. Look at look at Bear. People showed up in here. Why does Freddie keep Wait. We got you know, Where like, everybody go? Don't, don't, show. don't leave me alone with these people. <laughs> okay. Just kidding, y'all are First great. of all, Elsie said that we're all going through some shit right now, and a lot of people are not going through the shows. So it's not my fault. <laughs> Hello. Hey, man. We talking pre-COVID. We talking pre-COVID. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they still ain't going. That's if he's working at that other place. That's why when nobody showed up. Oh, no, the other place, place. They, that's the sad oh. thing about it. When he was working at the other place called Charlie's, they were showing up because they always be at Charlie's. See, I don't say their name because I don't fuck with them. No, I that's say the they name. name. I don't you say the Chuck? other place name. You mean Chuck's? Why no, the other up? place oh, is Baltimore to me. I'll tell you what, bitches. Give me about a month and a half and I'll tell you whatever the fuck you want to know. Yes. <laughs> JK, JK, what, what's the worst gift you ever got, DJ? Call me. Um, I would just say that I don't really, I mean, I love when people give me clothes, but the clothes never fit me. They don't <laughs> never fit me. <laughs> Ever. But you, you Ever. know what? You know what? Your buttons Ever. be busted, but you be cute, though. You be cute as fuck. Ever. Fuck, fuck what they say, I don't DJ know Image. Worse, though. Like, I don't know what's worse. Is someone giving you, like, like, clothes as a gift, and they're either way too big or way too small. I'm like, okay, how, how... Okay, you're gonna give me this is obviously like four sizes too big. How? Why? Why? Uh, or it's that too small. Like, wow, I but think if you look good, good, if you look good, it don't matter what you're wearing, and he always look good. So no, yeah, I appreciate it, but some I mean, they'd be like, oh, mijo, I don't you buy gained a little clothes no more. What happened? <laughs> The the old me hall, you gained a little weight. I know. Oh, that. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure because my shit is like cutting out. No, um, you'd be like, oh me hold you just gained a little weight. It's okay. I'm like, this is a fucking medium. I wear like a two three X. <laughs> like, what was the, the last time that? I wore a goddamn medium? Uh, the right. last time he wore a medium pre COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we were okay. <laughs> Let's be probably. real. Same though. Okay. No, same. no, really. Like, because we, before COVID, he was on the thinner side. He really mm -hmm. was. It's okay. So we're a lot I was of a little us. too thin. I, I actually uh I gained that COVID nineteen, but I needed to because I lost a little too much weight while I was having my shit happening there for a minute. There it was not cute. 
So I was like, yay, look at me. I'm all filled Speaking in now. Speaking of shit happening, what's the worst gift you've ever received, Dominic? I already said that. <laughs> I was the first one to say it. Man. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot. Never Put mind. Go away. Condoms. Eve. Um, a good finger condom. And old. I always find a way to make somebody's gift kind of work if it's not necessarily something I wanted. But um, I don't know. My, my story is not funny. It's kind of sad. Uh, oh. <laughs> my aunt <laughs> my aunt uh, my mom's sister was not always very well and so the worst gifts were always unfortunately hers because she wasn't always in her right mind when she would send things to us uh, so the worst gift we got were unwrapped Reese's like the chocolate oh, God. oh. Um, that was not a bad like, gift because uh, it was like unwrapped and loose in the packaging oh oh like so it was like she had like they had she had ra- she like she had um yeah like she had opened the oh, chocolate no. bars and then put them in with the rest of the packaging. You know what? Let's be positive. She was trying to get y'all a hand. She was uh, trying. She like the rest of the gifts them. were very nice, and she was an artist, so it was that like was, really that beautiful. was very thoughtful. Let me unwrap uh, other uh, things. Babies. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. but it was it was kind of just a sign that she wasn't doing. Yeah. Yeah, her best. I, I get that. And, uh, but on a on a on a more amusing sign, I also got the ugliest coat one year that was like mm. fake raccoon. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Not from her. It was from somebody else. That was very well meaning. They were like, <laughs> "We know you love costumes, so we found you this coat that we think you'll really like." And I was like, oh. "Oh, okay. I love I love flamboyant costumes." It was this fake raccoon coat oh, and I was God. like oh mm. okay <laughs> hold, just, hold up hold up I don't I don't not my style uh, I found up, somebody else up. who loved it hold, I don't need y'all to get crazy <laughs> but you tell me what's wrong with fake raccoon okay. I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell, tell you what's wrong raccoon. I got oh, married in that okay, this, was, it, you know this was Eve right here oh, you know this was Eve and that's how the marriage ended Oh my god, you see that coach. circle, Felicia. You and you know what? Circle, you know what? Somebody in Rocky Horror really loved it later. So, they did. I love my rope. So, you coach. know, I found somebody who loved it. That's there's, the thing. There's, you can find somebody yeah, to no, love I, it. Always. You right, so like, always. Early, somebody early wanted that rope. Fur trapper. I'm like, yeah, yeah you could do oh, it. Oh, am I up now? Felicia, am I you're up. What's the worst gift you've ever gotten? Um, so, um, bless her heart, but, um, my grandmother (laughs) smoked like a chimney. And, um, so every Christmas, uh, so she didn't live with us, thank God, but she smoked like a chimney. Cigarettes? And every year she would buy, yeah, she would buy us, well, and probably some other, uh, but, (laughs) (laughs) uh, but every year she would buy us white outfits. And I'd be like, why is she buying us these? But by the time they got to our house, they were always covered in this yellow tobacco. And so every year, no matter what she bought us, it was covered in yellow tobacco. And so like, when people are like, oh, I smoke in my house. I'm like, nope, I can't stand that smell. Mm -mm." Uh, And one year she tried to buy us underwear and we threw those away because they were unwrapped for one. And they had the yellow like Tobacco. Oh, so, just who? look like, like you already beat me. Yeah. <laughs> you already look like you beat me. Bit of a smoker, but he also chewed like <laughs> big red gum, and I inherited his truck, so his truck smelled like tobacco smoke and cinnamon. So it was oh. like not Ooh. stained, but it was like a. I always that associate cinnamon and tobacco. Uh, objection, smoke. Your <laughs> Honor. Objection. <laughs> Uh, that's, what Elsie's, that's what Elsie's. That's what Elsie's house smells like. Is tobacco uh, and cinnamon. I smell like palm malls and, <laughs> and regret. Palm malls and regret. And I'm gonna tell you right <laughs> now. You ain't about to get on this podcast. Run your mouth for the real time. 
<laughs> oh my god. Inside uh, joke. Inside do not joke. send me anything oh, with yellow. No, let's, go anything. To, let's go back to the cinnamon and when and this one falls to... out, I'm gonna send it to you, Felicia, for Christmas. Let's let's go back to the then cinnamon. That can cinnamon be the worst gift you ever get. I, I could get down with cinnamon and tobacco smoke. Like I think Any, cinnamon kind of and tobacco smoke would actually combo. be Hmm? Quite, 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 quite. We've after the show several I can't times, hear you. so I know. Too much talking. Shut up, Negros. What kind of truck was it? What kind of smoke was it? What truck. truck? The truck. Truck. What oh, was it was truck? a Nissan, a red Nissan. <clears throat> oh, okay, not like those a... tiny little ones, like yeah, it was a oh, little red pickup. Yeah. Ugh. My mom had a little brown one like that. Almost fell out of it. Them the kind of old men that get out and cuss you out in the, at the red light. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. He <laughs> had a lot of road rage. Hit me like, hit me like. Cemetery. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? Oh my God. He was a groundskeeper for a cemetery. So. Oh. Uh, also, he I'm had to sorry. deal with the weird people. You mean dead people. people? I said he had to deal I mean, with the weird people. people who had to, people who, weird they, people. you know. He was at the cemetery, compa. Okay. They were dead. I mean, what you don't know, 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 <laughs> <laughs> your groundskeeper, you're gonna be keeping your grounds and stuff. You think it's gonna be chill and everything, and then there's some dumbass goth kid walking over, holding hands with some other dumbass goth kid because they're gonna. Oh, uh, that was me. Same, same, same. He said, I was pretty oh, much just you giving said, out uh, an you example. You're calling out my business. You're calling out my business. <laughs> all right, all right. I got, a, I got another one for you. I got another one for y'all. Okay. Okay. Worst food at a holiday dinner. Woo! Hey, let me tell you. <laughs> Are we asking that I'm question? Just, Anything I'm with raisins that, in it? <laughs> oh, I'm asking. I, for Any me, it's going to be the, the yellow Thanksgiving salad. of uh, any of those things. Thanksgiving 2020, when someone fucking brought a Waldorf salad to my dinner. Is that the thing that has Jello and like cream and nuts? Um, and it's it? it's it's like um. It's Here like it nuts like and grapes and mayonnaise, and it is the most. Oh my god! It is the worst did white just, people shit ever. If you fancy, I just, I, I, hold on. Oh, did you just say nuts, grapes, and mayonnaise? <laughs> is it, like the, it is a creamer dressing. Well, is this is this savory or is this supposed to be sweet? Yes, <laughs> it is a oh. salad. Oh, no. No. no, a Waldorf salad oh, no. is a uh, fruit and nut salad, generally made of fresh apples, celery, walnuts, and grapes, dressed in mayonnaise and traditionally <laughs> a bit of lemon. I've never had it done with mayonnaise. They put lemon in it. Celery, it, mayonnaise, Not bro, fucking celery. mayonnaise, apples, celery. Grapes, walnuts, it is the most disgusting shit on the planet. I don't know why but anybody why? eats it. And okay, but y'all know how I cook, me, right? Y'all know what shows up on Thanks my table you know when I, I cook. cook. I'm gonna put some of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And oh this my, guy, like, I'm gonna bring a Waldorf salad. I'm like, why are we letting this person in? Okay, I blame you. It was your house. Have, have, your, have your, your attention. Oh God. God. Behalf, oh God! On behalf of white people. No, no, not people. me, not me, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, don't do that to Tinkerbell with my voice. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Looking too cute over there to get canceled. You so pretty, baby. Listen. That's how her grandpa sounds. On behalf of white people. <laughs> In the 1950s. <laughs> Elsa, you weren't even born in the 50s. Where is this going? Shut the fuck up, Brooklyn, or you'll disappear again. Shut up, bitch. You weren't born in the 50s. You ain't but 40, Dis 38. Disappear her. Disappear her. <laughs> disappear her uh, ass. I'm going to say this. <laughs> we was fucked up. Okay? What? <laughs> Remember what? before Still we on? could sell the drugs to the minoritized, <laughs> we had to do them first. <laughs> so when you think about how your granny used to put raisins in her collard greens, why? Because no, fucking stupid. 
Whoa. Oh, Granny, I will say I we to... still make, like, <laughs> there is one 1950s recipe we still make that is, like, with cheese whiz and broccoli and rice. That Dave, is, like... Don't. No? Oh listen, man, listen. It is good. they didn't get it all wrong. It's the only one we do. They didn't get it all wrong, but they was okay. doing like oh. lime jello molds with okay. yeah, sausages. That. That's what I was about to say. And yes. and Why? Why? Of the dog dog the yeah. The microwaves were. See, that would be that would be a no no. That was my not work question. That was my question. No, and listen, Why is it you make jello? Oh, and then just put shit in Listen, the jello. when like, my when my grand oh, in jello. Listen, everything don't go when in my jello. Grammy died, <laughs> my grandpa remarried this woman from Oregon, no offense. And she <laughs> was a pack rat and she was supposed to know how to cook. And my mama had had a heart attack. This is a true story. My mama had had a heart attack. And so it was us with my fucking dad who didn't know where his dick should go other than <laughs> I don't know. He was stupid. Anyways, so she comes over with this meatloaf. Now, we children's was starving. Mama's in the hospital. My dad don't know what the fuck up from down is. She comes over with this meatloaf that she had been put in a microwave for 30 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I have food. Yes. We, open, we open this thing up and that Skin was raw on the top, <laughs> and then she brought these. Out. And then she walked out, and my daddy, God bless his soul, he was dumber than a box of hair. The <laughs> only thing he could do was turn a wrench on a car. Bitch, he could listen to a car and not even know anything, and be able to tell you like that what was wrong with it. Like he had that skill, but he was dumber than Tell hair. He looked at me and he goes, let's go to Jimmy Jack's on Van Buren. They got five burgers for a dollar. We're going to go get some hamburgers. I'll scrape it out my ashtray. We we not eating this. Sassy. I can't make We're all about like this. tamales. Sassy, she came in the house and she said, y'all better come and get one of these. So I know what it is. <laughs> and listen, I was raised Pentecostal. I am not black Pentecostal. White Pentecostal. What's and that? I had to a a lot. Listen, I had to eat a lot of potluck flavored sauerkraut dishes. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can tell you what my worst dish was. Do a bitch. A it chicken was, salad. I went. Check it out. Let them tell it. Let them tell it. First one go to hell. Better come get one um, of these. Brooklyn, go to hell. So it was. It was um, when my father was the, the pastor at the church, and we had like went to another church's service, and uh, they they was white folk, and we didn't know they was white folk, and we got there, and they had casseroles everywhere, and all of them looked real watery and <laughs> uncooked. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and when my dad asked me what was like. I said, none of this. Said actually, chicken salad. I said, uh, I'll wait. Like, you know. I'm going to go get other, a chicken salad. There, there the other worst, worst thing I ever made, ever ate, was made by someone and brought to a baby shower of a friend that we all went to. And ah, it was, oh, 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 Mute the host. Mute the host. <laughs> I'm oh free. I couldn't eat it, so. No, no, no. It was that mac and cheese was disgusting. Everybody it wanted a chicken salad. I was in hot and uncooked. It, it was hot and raw. This was why. I, I, I took I have one no bite of it because nobody fucking about. warned me. And I was like, what is this? And what is in I, this? Okay, you should have known that you walked one. in and none of the black people were eating it, that it wasn't good. <laughs> that should have been your clue. in the corner, not touching it. That should have been clue number one. And your ass ran directly to it. We was just sitting there watching. No, you hmm. should have that was your fault. Y'all was wrong to let him run today. To be fair, I no, didn't take no. that much. I took a little bit because there was no color. And I'm like, mm, I'll be polite. Freddy, you know what? No, now it I blame you. It was literally hot. And uncooked. How is it? 
That was macaroni. And the, I don't know what the flavor was. I was trying to figure out what kind of fucking spices were in it. Like there was None, something. I don't know. Like there was it no dill or something? Pale, like, like, it was pale. There's your clue. Vanilla. <laughs> but like they it wasn't put, a like, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like chicken salad. That is all spice. All spice or seasoning all on there. Worst shit ever. No, the person who made it and that mac and cheese were the same color. That's all I'm saying. Anita? Was it Anita? <laughs> no. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> no. No. You know Anita don't cook. She order out. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> For a damn reason. She can't even see her kitchen. <laughs> damn. I know. I know she flew over that life. box twice. I almost killed herself. <laughs> she was trying to get a chicken salad. <laughs> I... That wasn't the same color as... I cannot <laughs> with you all. Oh my God. I've I've already given my partner strict instructions that if I die, no one is to bring a fucking casserole because that would just be disrespectful oh no. to my I, memory. Can I arrange I the eulogies? The I want to make casserole. sure that okay, because we need a lot of them, and this is the vibe it all must be. I'm gonna bring a black person casserole. It's called baked macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Chick mm. salad. Okay. I'm a smoke of blender. Last I heard, you like to drop yours on the ground. So. Oh, bring it up. Oh, shit. All of it. Hey, Felicia, you remember that time you and I were at Denny's when you used to host a show at The Rock on a Wednesday? And you had ordered a skillet and covered it in ketchup. I did. Do you remember that? Do you remember oh, that story? Nasty. What was it? No, 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 no. Do you remember that story? No, I drink a lot. Do you remember? Sitting, <laughs> do you remember? It's my favorite story about Felicia Minor. Now I won't actually. That's the only clue and vibe <laughs> I'm going to give to that story, because if I finish it, we'd both be canceled right here, right now. Along yeah, with you're fine. Nobody watches this at all. Those already canceled. So let's let's oh. do it. No, I can't. If it was going to be canceled, it. we would have been you canceled can't, years can't, ago. Here it is. Here it is. Elsa, <laughs> you can't get canceled. You just quit. So I come said on. a month and a half. Girl. Oh, wait, Are sorry. you going to do a memoir? No, oh, God, yes. Just give it to me. On... <laughs> just tell me like a Kwanzaa present. Do you title no, okay. this memoir? Okay, okay. so I'm call? sitting there with Felicia Minor and Victoria Bacon. And and, and we're sitting there oh, talking, God. and then and then she pulls in this fucking skillet, <laughs> and Felicia is sitting there, literally emptying the bottle of every ounce of life that that ketchup bottle had onto her skillet. <laughs> and so Can you show a demonstration? There, like, uh, 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 you know, like I heard, I heard with, her with say the she, knife, with the knife, I, with the knife. All I of heard it. Elsie says she ain't never seen nobody squeeze a glass bottle till Felicia did it. Okay. <laughs> no, listen. Listen. She was banging that thing so hard in her hand. I thought she was performing Shirley Caesar. She was going crazy all over the place. So this thing was a mound of ketchup, okay? Mound of ketchup. <laughs> and who's sitting in the booth behind us? Barbara fucking Seville. <laughs> Oh my God! Barbara Seville turns around and looks at Felicia, and looks at her plate, and said, "Oh, I see you ordered the Savannah Stevens skillet." (laughs) (laughs) Oh! Oh my God! Why is everybody hiding? (laughs) Do you not remember that, Felicia? Because I'm ugly. Because I'm ugly <laughs> laughing and no one needs to see that. I did, I'm going to tell you right now, I did not laugh. Oh, I was like, I was, I was gobstopped. I was gobstopped. Oh, and, 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 and that was that skill. Yeah. You needed that much ketchup, yeah. though. Uh, yeah. It was a little dry. And, yeah. <laughs> and the times that we had gone to Denny's late uh, during the week, it was usually like a horrible cook. Felicia, I've been to you at that Denny's Minty. T- By the way, did I ever tell you the time Felicia was at that same goddamn Wednesday night show and stepped back on my foot in her stiletto high heel and broke my foot? Did you know that, girl? Remember when I was your bartender? I broke your foot? 
Yeah, you <laughs> stuck. She sat back on me one night at the edge of the bar and like literally broke my middle toe. And I worked the entire rest of the shift with a broken toe. Memories. <laughs> oh my god. No, I did not I know, know that. So now I have sundowners and it's 906. So stories oh are god. gonna come. Oh, Alicia oh used to drink a lot. <laughs> you say you say sundown town. No, t- <laughs> put person back in time out. Put her ass back in time out right now. Fuck that. Ass. Nah, what... nah, bro, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she got the go. <laughs> oh, look, look, wow, it's really pretty. Brooklyn need to leave like her titty leaving right now. In that <laughs> <laughs> At least my titties are supposed leave to be it. here. Leave in the room. Leave in the room. At least my titties left are supposed to, left. to be here. <laughs> I mean, minor courtesy of El Chino Buffet, baby. I mean, Yours right. <laughs> Mine are chicken done. style. Yours ain't. <laughs> little hometown, little Chinese, little south of the border, baby. All you can eat, honey. Mine were brought to you by that made-up person called God. Yeah, daddy. <laughs> That's good. Okay, then in all fairness, mine is made up by Sigourney Beaver or whatever you guys were talking about earlier. You know, there was an alien. It was, I was talking about a spider. <laughs> it was a, a spider, Elsie. Oh. <laughs> that up you, I had no idea what you were talking about. So I named it Sigourney. Ooh, I'm it's like um stuff. Charlotte's Web. Charlotte, that yeah. spider, oh. that's an orb weaver. Yeah. Well, Rita still hasn't brought me my McRib, so. Oh, hi, Rita. See, Elsie yeah, also it. has a spider that lives about her house that spills things, but her just says, cunt, every time she wakes up. You know what I mean? Her name <laughs> is Espressa <laughs> Grande. This tastes like the stuff they do with. Espressa Grande. <laughs> this almost tastes like the stuff they give you at church. You know what? I was pro-life Ooh. until I had her. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, you see, I feel. Look, I went from being classy to baby. And, like, I, and I remind her the same thing. I my mama like used to remind time. me, "You ain't too old for a coat hanger." <laughs> Say another word. <laughs> Say another word. You know what? I have said some shit, but my parents have never threatened to abort me post life. Like I am great. Oh, honey. That's the parents. only way my parents kept us out of the graveyard <laughs> when we were growing up, honey. I think my mom's just glad I didn't end up pregnant at 16, but then again. But now she's well. well. Oh, wow. I didn't end up pregnant at 16, but God, I tried. But now she know why. <laughs> <laughs> they just said, oh, God, I tried. Hi. Now your mom thinks back on that finger condom and says, uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but, oh, no, the after coming out, there were, like, you can see that whole Dory and Finding Nemo, the address just clicking in the head. 342, we followed you, I said, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I was just like, no, nah, mom, no. Nah. Hold on, let me ask y'all a serious question. Mm-hmm. Have y'all ever been drinking some liquor? And that, shit, and that shit be so good, you just want to pound it. That's liquor. wine. It's not even liquor. I kind of used to have drinking problems. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was. That's not funny, but what's the next question? What's the next question? Uh, worst holiday guest. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I drank the whole little case already. It, it's oh my god, LC. Jesus Christ! I'm making, I'm making me a Christmas tree <laughs> ornament thingy. And I, I just finished to... my tea. So. Just turn them into jewelry. Oh, Is it oh, Earl Grey earrings? The worst holiday guest. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We passed worst that. Worst holiday one. house guest. My school oh, counselor. My oh, school counselor. that I gotta name names. My school counselor coming to buy some ass. What the fuck? To, to what? Some oh my god, Brooklyn! Jesus Christ! Well, it's the truth. That's that's a pretty shitty guess. I'm just saying, you know. It was the truth. It's the truth. 
You can't just leave it like that. You gotta talk. You gotta tell us what. Uh, <laughs> so, no. so y'all know I was sex traffic, and our busiest time was the holidays, especially Christmas. And my fucking counselor, that bitch, old little slut, came to our house for Christmas. Left her kids and her husband at the house, and came to get. She wasn't coming to get fuck us. We was banging her out. So, thank oh God. Y'all know me. I'm daddy as fuck. So. Fuck that person. <laughs> that part. Oh. She was Ooh, the worst guest. That's a horrible guest. Who's yeah. that? It was a horrible Killer guest. Princess too. Yeah. What oh about Eve? God, Eve has it? gotten so quiet. <laughs> Eve is like, what the fuck did I get myself into? I'm sorry. Eve said I'm about to go get a chicken salad. I don't have uh, all these connections y'all do. So I'm like, I just You fly, baby girl. We don't want any... Eve, we don't want any of these connections, girl. We want some of yours. What you got? Yes. Uh, worst guest. Ooh, um, we have a pretty quiet holiday. We're pretty yes. s- like small. Uh, big family, but not and a lot. You had of- no crazy drunk uncle, crazy yes. drunk aunt. Oh, uh, I mean, my whole dad's side of the family are a bunch of uh weird Catholics, so they're all kind of odd. <laughs> but the most me and Rita. <laughs> the Catholics, so, right? Um, so that Catholic but I guilt. mean, to me, they're not the worst because they're family. So I just am used to it. Uh, I suppose the most recent one would be somebody I thought was a friend, but apparently they just wanted to fuck me. Oh, oh, oh that was super oh, fun. Cool. Hey, hey, that was we fr- super fun. Uh, no, not a gentleman. No, um, hey, is for everybody. Oh. Everybody. Uh, and I was providing them my from their family because they were like, I need to escape from my family. And I was like, great, you can come hang out with my family. And then right. it just ended up being an incredibly oh. uncomfortable uh, holiday instead for everybody. You know what? Uh, Fuck them. Fuck no, them, no, don't, don't, don't. Don't. Not, yeah, that, don't. Way, uh, not that way. Not the chicken salad way. Not that way. <laughs> In, in the words of one of the um, one of the wise members of my my people, mi gente, fuck that puto. Come. Come on. Uh, but I I enjoy watching the chaos in a way with the extended family because it's a bunch of uh, crazy drunk extended family that are very odd. And, Sound like you're uh, talking about us. <laughs> yeah. About I'm, the sad part is I'm sober. This is right. This is sh- about nobody, will, sh- nobody will ever know. It's okay. Sh- you know, uh, we always spend Christmas Eve, or we used to spend every Christmas Eve making tamales. So it was always just like a bunch of uh, extended family making tamales and spending time with the extended family and uh, torturing anybody new who was entering the family, new significant others. Uh, so mm. you always felt bad for them. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so really- I never brought. I never brought significant others to family events. But did you really feel bad for them? You did. I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> our you family us. kind of was our. You can tell right. us. Ain't nobody listening but us, oh, girl. Yeah, I, I did. I, That's why I never brought anybody. <laughs> we won't tell a soul. I used to be the like the one that would laugh and be the shit talker and stuff, and the weird like cousin that gave all the new people shit. And then my poor wife, um, after we first started <laughs> dating, New Year's Eve. Taking her to my hometown, we we stopped at my my Theo's house. Me Theo and my my aunt, they had the like a huge party, all their cousins and stuff. And we're Latino, so my cousins' cousins, even though they're not in any way related to us, those are my cousins anyway. So it's like that whole thing. This poor girl. I love my wife. She's wonderful. She is so introverted, and my family is so not. I felt so. I thought they were. Okay. I'm the introvert. Yo, I'm also the only out member of. 13 cousins, you know there's closet oh, family yeah. members. Oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. out of 13. Yeah, we know, oh, yeah, there's going to be Nicole more. is introverted, but she petty. <laughs> she can. I, I think she can be. She knows Nicole, how to no, be. not she can be. No, she you don't Nicole think she can be. can be. Nicole is petty. <laughs> I've I seen Nicole petty come out of her What do you mean? Why you, you carry your teacup? Oh, she could be spicy, but if <laughs> it's, oh, and it's always worth it. Though. Like it's worth whoever gets it deserves it, though. Nicole and I get along like this, and you know that. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, so yeah, you go yeah. tell me. 
<laughs> it's Tree Ain't Fanny. Okay. All no, right. I'm not saying she. No, I'm okay. saying that if you're it's not mutually uh, exclusive, you can be petty and introverted. Oh, yeah. You can't be a petty. You can't be petty. I'm introverted. You can't, petty. 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 Well, you can't not be petty and be my friend. You cannot not be. You can't. I just say. Be petty, be my friend. I'm talking about over here. I'm not. I'm not petty. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm. 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 I am one of the most introverted people I know. But you are the most pettiest people. I know that. Not petty. I am very gracious. I <laughs> Felicia, <laughs> Felicia, disappear him for lying. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. Anybody read I know. that daddy as fuck song as petty as fuck? I would like to perform that, please. Daddy as oh. fuck, please do that. I, but do it as petty as fuck. Oh, I mean, we do both over on it. Yeah. We need that would be by the way. Right, both of them. <laughs> and can you strap? And can you can you strap an eggplant to you? Yes. Or be an eggplant, apparently. No, no, no. That. Dom. 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 I, I want to be an eggplant. Eggplant Anyway. Uh, my answer was not very clever or funny, but uh, we can clever. move on to someone else. It was clever. It was clever. <laughs> I was clever. It was absolutely <laughs> clever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I try my best <laughs> not to have house guests around the holidays because I don't like Oh, people. no. So if <laughs> I can like avoid just dealing with them. This guy right here. That's all that gets in there, baby. Oh my boy. god, that's that old cat. I love him so much. So I wanted to introduce you guys. Uh this is Charmu, who we, which is short for Chairman Meow of the Kittens Republic of China. And um <laughs> he is a main coon and he He's is like 20 years old. He is 23 years old. Oh, oh my god. He is he's, he's deaf. Old man. He's deaf. He's blind. He still can get around the house. Dementia. Though. He has dementia. He can get around the house though. Oh, I was scared when I first saw him. Oh, yeah. When I first saw him, I was like, "Oh, LC cuz he he's a main coon, but he's um since he's old, he's kind of like condensed now." And so I was like, "Oh shit, LC is he okay to be out?" She said, "Yeah, sugar." He'll either come out, walk around, and go back, or he'll bump into something and turn around. So I'm standing there looking at him, and he goes, <laughs> bumped into the washer, turned back around, and went in the room. I said, cute. Sure do. She, said, shut, she said, shut the door. <laughs> He's I love him. I love him. He's a big old boy. He's a big old boy. And but... then she got Satan in there. Oh. She got Satan in there. He will rip your face off. Oh. That, got, that mm-hmm. goddamn thing No, listen. <laughs> no, no, y'all pay attention. Y'all gonna be witnesses at the court of law. <laughs> oh my god! Cause that he goddamn was, cat. He was so into it right now. Is full of the goddamn devil. He's taking himself. <laughs> no, listen. She jumped up on the coffee table over there, and I had one of them Ouija board things I'd gotten at the Target, and it was sitting there, and it was like a Ouija Not board little thing where you put your I magazine. I see, no, totally legit it. place to get a Ouija board is Target. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no, that, that, that how, Ouija board. I don't listen, listen for the ancestors. No, y'all gotta listen jumped, to this. Now jumped y'all. on the top of that thing <coughs> and started whooshing her tail. Ooh. And I looked at that bitch and I said, I swear to God, you conjure a motherfucking spirit up in here. <laughs> I will throw you in the alley. I found you. <laughs> oh my God. So I go to sleep that night. This is a true goddamn story. I go to sleep that <laughs> night. And I hear this noise on my mattress, like something grab and it's a sheet on the side. And I knew it was cat-like, but I knew it wasn't the old man. This bitch is walking sideways on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, sideways. I'm gonna say I've never spoken <laughs> tongue so quickly. I've never been filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit so quickly. As oh I, was, I was anointing everything with fireball in that room that night. <laughs> so, so 
y'all, y'all, y'all laughing, but it's true. So, Shall we gather? <laughs> y'all laughing. Y'all laughing, but I'm telling y'all that cat is Satan. So when I met the old man that day, when Elsie was telling me to shut the door. She wasn't telling me to shut the door because of him. She said, hurry up and shut the door because that other cat. And when I turned around, it said, I'll tell your soul apart. Bitch, I ran. <laughs> I ran. And you I said, know why I afraid it? Because she had ginger. I would have faced the She had ginger. I had a ginger. And he is not like that. Okay, yo, that bitch is the devil. God. Now, that's, Amateur that's Neil Horner type shit. Yeah. Turn your head and spit green type shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me type shit. No. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a reference to The Exorcist, Rita. Just I see your concern <laughs> I, there. I, I knew. I just wasn't expecting it. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Sassy. All right. Sassy. She got that cat, mm -hmm. but remember, remember when Falcon hung ten from my asshole? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god. The fuck <laughs> you just say? <laughs> 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 We are a family show here. We don't talk oh, about things going <laughs> from assholes. Okay. We are a family show. I worked show. with colorectal surgery. I we're don't want to hear about assholes anymore. We are today. a family show, and that's why we're all here together. We're all ah. in this together. Oh, Lord. Damn it. I'd rather Please not be. We are a family. Oh, my God. Falcon. Come here, kitty. We can put Eve, you are officially head. part so, of the family. Congratulations. So when yeah. we got Falcon, when we I got mean, Falcon, it's this long, yeah. yeah. So she has a mess to go outside, so I'm still here. So this is Falcon. <laughs> they're like, please, please Mine ask to go outside. Please. So, so they're looking at the their dog like, don't you have to go? You have to so go, this right? is Falcon. <laughs> Say hi, Falcon. This this is my evil cat. Uh, when he was a kitten, when we first got him, he was just a teeny tiny kitten. And of course, you know, if you know me, you know I sleep. I'm mostly naked most of the time. So anyway, I was asleep, had my ass hanging off the bed. Falcon was playing. We had him in a basket. We had him in a basket because he was a little kitten. This little bitch <laughs> was climbing in the basket. Climbed up, grabbed hold of my asshole, and was dangling from my ass. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and no, I asshole. Like, get hole. back in the basket. The <laughs> hole, bitch! I couldn't move. He had claws in, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" And Tyler was like, "What's wrong, babe?" It was the middle of the night. Scared the shit out of him. Scared the shit out of everybody in the house. And I'm like, "Don't snatch him. <laughs> Whatever you do." <laughs> Be gentle. Be gentle. Don't snatch that cat off of me. <laughs> oh, that was traumatic. It was chicken That's salad. some pussy on pussy crime. <laughs> you were having kittens. <laughs> you have been I didn't walk right for a week. If we were like a radio show, that's when Freddie would have been like, and now let's take a break. <laughs> and now let's have a word from our sponsors. <laughs> CJ talking about his cat. <laughs> no, I was thinking like pretty litter or something we like that. We couldn't put nothing on it. Tiny <laughs> cat. Now we could... we'll have a word. There <laughs> we go. Cat. So, okay. Yeah. Y'all, I don't wish and that for a mind. word from our sponsors. <laughs> um, my name is Lady Christian, and there's a few things I'd like to talk to you about this holiday season. <laughs> so you too could support my husband and his little nipples back there, or you can buy my favorite holiday spice cider because I ran out of the little bottles, so I had to go to the fridge and get the frozen one. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for those uh, uh, encouraging lovely, words. Lovely, lovely words. Did you all die or 
It got Many quiet times. Wow. real quick. Many times. Oh, I've been dead for years. <laughs> that was your chance to plug shit, and you just, uh, whatever. <laughs> what do you yeah. want me to plug? Talking about Not plugging. an asshole at this point. Honey, if you that don't know where I host funky. a show on a Saturday night, that's your own goddamn problem. <laughs> Looking oh. for loop by plugs? Come on down to Pleasure World. And talk, apparently Rita talk. can't hear us anymore. Can't Rita, you got Don't we can't hear you either perfect. if it makes you feel any better. What'd you do? Check you your broke your settings, Rita. You you broke Rita. You broke it. Check your settings. Because we nada. Check your battery, you, Alma. Alma, you, check your battery. You, use the, you can't hear nothing, Rita? Pods that don't really do anything. Talking about plugging <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, I heard a thing. Can you hear us now, Rita? Brooklyn and I have a show this Saturday night. That I was, hey, was going to say, talking about rock. plugging things. Let's Rita's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm missing everything. I'm missing On Christmas Eve, <laughs> Rita Bain has That's volunteered fine. to come into a drive-by for free that evening. We want to thank yeah. her for switching her hair back and forth and holding your headphones in the air right now is agreement. Uh -huh. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. We all heard it. She is donating author. all of her tips uh, to all of her money. All of her money. All of her money. All of her money. Thanks, all Rita. Of, uh, yeah. Look up. Everybody look up. Say thank you, Rita, because oh, Rita look, she has up, she agrees. volunteered to donate all of her tips. Yeah. Thank she God looked good. up. She agreed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. So let's have a feast. So my life, you have yeah. been I'm faithful. Back. <laughs> Oh, thank you. we miss thank you. you. For your, thank you for your lovely donation, Rita. We appreciate, oh, we appreciate you. Donating. Don't worry oh, about it. You're, you're fine. Just be at LC's show this Saturday. Uh huh. Bring a nice. Don't bring that crap. nice. Bring that nice Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald. Don't do Ronald McDonald. Ronald And don't act cute. You, you know you don't have yes. a damn booking. It's the trap. Oh, oh, it's the trap. <laughs> <laughs> you hush. Lock it, gonna put a burp for me, and I'm gonna wake up in a McDonald's making McRibs for LC. <sighs> Speaking Don't of a trap, it. feel free to tip or sponsor us at paypal.me slash <laughs> <laughs> Also, plug. also visit us at www.imperialcourtaz.org. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't report me if I tell you on Facebook. She can block me. You know what happened to this? You're a crown princess. Uh, look. <laughs> you a crown princess. Whoa, hold up. Tyler laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why are you looking like that? Medea oh my god. Rag on right now. Well, oh, you know that LC is out of liquor. I'm pretty sure that Brooklyn's out of liquor. I'm pretty sure everybody else is out of liquor too. I am not out of liquor out yet. Of I still got a. Oh, I'm out Jesus. of liquor and I, I don't need wine. I got to work and drink it. See, everybody's out of liquor. And we have gone like 30 minutes 30 over, minutes which over. is typical for this, though. This is typical. Oops. Actually, and this is probably the for anybody that's ever seen Donald. it. Like we, we know that this is look, always look a shit show of an episode. Y'all see that smirk? Happy. Do y'all see that? that? Oh my god, it's a little murderous. What he do? It is a little murderous, isn't it? <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, especially with the hoodie on, <laughs> right? And that's how he sleeps. That's how he goes to bed. <laughs> I know it's cold. It now, is a wee bit cold. Oh, in Arizona okay. okay, Dominic, you are not. No, uh, uh, you don't get to say a goddamn thing. <laughs> you showed up at my house. It was seventy-five, and you had three layers of clothing on. Oh my god! Laundry. I am cold. Okay, yes. So, so every single you, day when I go to work, I get have to say a nothing. pair of long sweats, long johns. I have an undershirt, a long sleeve shirt, plus my regular dress shirt, my vest, and my suit jacket. Then my suit pants, and I put on giant thick wool socks because I'm fucking cold. Y'all see yeah, this shit right here? I can't this do all that because Tim is in. This is what I sleep. Working, I'll be sweating. This is the murderer I sleep beside every night, y'all. Look. 
That's the choice. Oh, that's evident. Too many I'm damn clothes. Like I cannot Alaskan sleep like that. Alaskan fisherman that is crazy. vibes. It looks very Alaskan fisherman. I expect a little ice hook thing. I love you, Ty. All right, y'all. So Alaskan fisherman. We need to start yeah, wrapping this up them. because we always know that this shit show goes way too fucking long. Um, who has gigs coming up that they need to promote? Because this is go go for it, please, please. All uh, right, Saturday One night. At a time. Okay, that's me. I go first. I'm the oldest. That's I don't think you are. Actually, just, I think I am. You just look. You just look. Freddie is the oldest. No, oldest. Looking. At I am. I'm older than Freddie. Thing. A Brooklyn will be with me Saturday night yeah, at the yeah. Rock, and it is. Listen, I've opened the show to anybody that truly, if you are in face on Christmas Eve, stop by The Rock and do a number. We have a spot for you. If you have family and you're not booked or whatever, I've opened the show up on, I have my regular cast. And I have a lot of people dropping in for a drive-by. It does not fucking matter. Just come out and have a good time. Because my philosophy this year was, bitch, if I got to work on Christmas Eve, y'all can work with me. Oh. Amen. Hello, let him. Oh, Mary, did you know? Um, you know, and uh, so please come out. Brooklyn will be there because we're gonna have some raffle baskets for charity, and we're gonna. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Brooklyn and I have been asking for specific items for a family in Tamworth. Brooklyn called me, and we got some shit done and got this family Good. everything they needed. But they just need awesome. some money to get them on their way. So we're going to be raising money for them on Christmas Eve uh, uh, um, at the Rock. We, so we got their by. beds. We got their beds. Uh, we got their yep. Christmas taken care of. Yep. And uh, mom has enough money to pay rent this month for and January. Food. And they have food. <clears throat> um, we just need to get mom uh, by a little bit longer. Uh, so what happened was dad got shot. Uh, mom had oh, wow. to. And he was an innocent bystander. Uh, mom, um, mom's job is not very understanding of this, and she's taking care of her man. Um, and so we want to make it, um, we want to make it as stress less on mom as possible. Um, so we're just trying to get them what we can until she finds another job, which will be soon because now she can rest a little bit. And I just so want to say this to all of you who little, are on here. Yep, just needs a little hand up and a little hand up, not hand yeah. out, hand up. And I always say this, and I say this to everybody, and I want to leave you all with this because I'm sure y'all saw my announcement today, and I'm sure you're all so excited because I am, and that's what we should all be, is simply this, and I'm going to leave you with this, the best advice I ever give to my child, my children, all of you who I can impersonate on is, number one, I got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday, which means that anything I've ever wanted in life is usually have already left me. And I'll whoop your ass in a heartbeat, so don't try it. <laughs> Roll up. One. Roll up. <laughs> Roll up. That don't scare an old queen. <clears throat> Number two, when it comes to your careers in drag, I say this from the bottom of my heart. You can never ask your community to give to you unless you are willing to give to it. And don't mm -hmm. you ever forget that. Okay? And I love you all. And Felicia and Freddie and all of you who are on here. Oh, the fireball. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. All right. Who else has gigs? Who else? Has I love you. We love you, Elsie. We adore you. Um, so with the Imperial Court on... Um, January 29th, um, our crown prince, Sir Nate, is putting on Ladies Who Lunch, and it's going to be at The Rock. It's going to be benefiting Tom's Palms. <clears throat> it's going to be Lady Day, Lady Christian, Lady Godiva, and Lady Wood, hence the name Ladies Who Lunch. Um, it's going to be hosted by Olivia Gardens. It's a $5 entry and $10, $5 entry and $10 lunch. Um, also in February, on February 10th, um, Davina has graciously given up her show for me um, on the on that Friday. Um, I'll be having my Empress Ball. It will be, of course, Alice in Leatherland. So wear anything leather, lace, PVC, anything, any any fetish or kink <laughs> here. Um, 
And of course, that is one of our five state events. So that will actually go to the Imperial Court, not to an actual other organization. It will go to us. Um, but we do, um, and there's no entry. Um, we do just come in, enjoy yourself, and have a great time with us. What time? And that thank at? you, Freddie. That is going to be at 8 o'clock p.m. And if you guys, if anybody would like to perform, um, it doesn't have to be, you know, a kink or whatever. You can perform whatever you want. Um, just contact Geo because since they're honoring the female line um, and the, the and the they thems that want that decide to be on the female side that night, um, they're the men and they thems uh, will be honoring us that night. So, hmm. so thank you, Freddie and Felicia, for having me tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Anybody um, else? Sassy, Rita, do y'all have gigs coming up? Eve, do y'all have gigs um, coming up? So I do. Um, I have a few things coming up. Um, Sassy, if you want to go first, you absolutely can. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, um, <laughs> so this Friday at Stacy's, um, I'm going to be in the cast lineup at doing some drive-bys for DJ Image for their Fantasy Fridays night. So if you guys want to get some tables, I have the link up on my page, and I believe Image also has it up on his story on his Facebook. So if you guys would be interested, I'd love to see you there. Um, and then on January 29th, I am going to be performing with Phoebe Phobia and a whole lineup. There's like 12 of us performing for a show called Season of the Witch. It's going to also be at The Rock after Brooklyn's event. So if you hang out that day, you can stay throughout the entire day through the ladies through lunch moment and then also see a little bit of a Make sure to show send that me night. that. That so absolutely everybody. absolutely and we also um that one i also have a link on my page so if you're interested in tickets for that phoebe has um also got those online so if you're interested you can always dm me and i'll let you know where i'll be awesome Sickening. all right sassy what you got um so january 8th is the first magic of the new year and i will be performing in that and then i will also be there january 22nd i believe because we have three magic shows in january so also felicia will be there i believe on the 22nd and the mm -hmm. 8th as well correct no just one of them i didn't get Are my you... sign up in time <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we'll move somebody else um <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was getting a chicken salad <laughs> we'll i just got the chicken salad <laughs> <laughs> also i know oh I people have no clue there, but... i cannot tell people what they have no idea and this is terrible and y'all Ooh, um, Eve, do you have anything coming up where people can uh, find you, virtual or otherwise? Yeah, yeah. Wait, actually, I have one more. Uh, oh, oh has one more. On. That wasn't you, Eve. That was Freddie, just with his fat, fast fingers. Oh my god. Anyway, um, on I hate about it. On uh, uh, January twenty first, I, I will be at Boycott with Sir Nate, and uh, I. Will I believe that is a show where I will be doing. I will be. A, it'll be a turnabout for me. So Sassy won't be there, but Sean will. And Bitch! <laughs> so Y'all ain't seen Sean. He'll make you get a chicken salad. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, don't I don't think know if that's a compliment. Yeah. But I think it's supposed. To okay, be. now we can move on to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, virtually on January twentieth. I am helping produce uh, a match game with Madame Askew and the Grand Arbiter, which is yeah. part of the steampunk community. That Those are I always so much fun. fun. They're a lot of fun, and it's going to be kind of movie and awards themed oh, um, cool. because we're going to nice. be celebrating the community that they've been building the last year virtually. Uh, so we're going to be producing that, uh, kind of celebrating the community, but also playing a match game, which is always a lot of fun. And uh, that'll be online. We haven't actually announced it yet. So this is kind of the first official announcement. Ooh, it's, um, but it's been rumored that we're going to have a match game in January. And then I announce all of the shows I'm in uh, on my Instagram, which is eve.riot.artistry. So hopefully I'll get some bookings in the new year. I haven't been booked yet. So uh, book me. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> what is that? I have lots of... Eve Where do you dot you live again? dot artistry because I do more than just burlesque. I also okay. do emceeing I'm and I saw you now. Oh, thank you. Where do you live? Eve, I want to let you know Eve is fantastic. That as 
I would be I honored to be on your match game show. <laughs> we as the awesome Lady people. Christian. Uh, it is a uh, a little less riotous than oh. these. The I answers think. yes, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to like forewarn. Uh, they can get pretty ridiculous. Um, but uh, do check it out. We'll be posting it soon. You can find that on the Madame Askew and Grand Arbor. They're, they are fun. I, they are absolutely Thank fun. Thank you, Sugar. They're a lot of fun. And I want to let you know, I love you, darling. You're just oh, beautiful. I was, it's uh, lovely to meet all of you. We give it up you. for the most beautiful one on the pod tonight. I just want to Oh, for Felicia? They look no, great. for you. No, oh we've seen God. Felicia. Uh, but I'm hoping <laughs> to be in Arizona soon. Yes, please. Well, please. I won't have any pull um, in a month and a half, so a girl, you know, hit it, bitch. I don't know. Elsie, there's, there's there's plotting. Roll up. There's plotting for Arizona. Yay! So, um, Bring it, baby. I just need to get a job, so uh, mm, unemployment sucks. Well, I feel that. Well, I got the truth. Elsie, um, let's see. Felicia Elsie. and I actually have a couple things coming up. Um. January 14th will be the first sex trivia um, of 2023. So uh, head on down to uh, Gracie's tax bar for that if you haven't yet. It's a buttload of fun and actually educational. I've never and been to Gracie's. Cool prizes, like actual prizes, like legitimate prizes. Um, those I are still super have my super puzzle. Fun. Like the and butt plug <laughs> that I want. <laughs> um, we got you, DJ. Don't worry. We got you. Um, <laughs> January 21st is going to be the new Three Fates show. Um, we're not sure. There's details to be announced on that one, but the Three Fates review will be back on January 21st. Um, and then uh, January 28th, I am extraordinarily fortunate that I will actually be um, a part of Elsie's final show at The Rock. Aww. So make sure that you come out for that. Um, I'll be right. check this out with it. Let's get DJ. There we go. All right, DJ Image, what you got? That was, that was funny. I have a, a lot of little things going on. Um, the, um, Inferno Thursday thing I did, they have like a Vogue night. Um, it's awesome. It's grown a lot. I'm much a part of that as a judge. Let's see, like 60, 70 I don't know if she muted it herself. But anyways, so that's uh, Thursday. We have Vogue Night and Category. We see. <laughs> You're choppy, boo. Mm. I don't like know how to fix it. Can you talk about night? You what? Working it out, man. Working it out. <laughs> Figuring it out. All right, let me move over to Felicia. There you go, Felicia. Um, so uh, before the new year, uh, I'm hosting a virtual bingo for those that don't go out on New Year's Eve. Um, so it'll start at 8.30 Arizona time. Um, and I believe there's a link. Are you doing that off link. your page? Um, no, it'll be off of Zoom. Okay. Um, but you need to sign up. Um, in order to receive your cards and you are able to pay through the Google form. Don't ask me how I figured it out, but you are. Um, <laughs> uh, last year I did it and um, some businesses um, supplied, some, supplied some prizes. So if you are a business um, that wants to give away some prizes, um, let me know. And um, there's also a chance for people to do like a, a buy-in where we can win each other's money. Oh, mm. cute. Mm. If I'm not there, can I win money too? No. no. Get out. <laughs> Nothing will be See, I told you to mute if you didn't listen. I told you. So, <laughs> Image asked me to talk about Vogue Nights uh, since we can't really hear him and his Friday show. So um, <clears throat> every first and third Thursday is the Vogue night that is put on by uh, DJ Image and House of Paragon. I am one of the regular judges, and then there are usually other rotating judges. Um, then on the second 
and fourth Thursday, it is a uh, uh, pop up drag, go go boys, and, and uh, impromptu vogue as well. And then every Friday is fantasy Fridays uh, that is hosted by Moxie usually, but the last two who have been Sayora. Oh, it's Sayora now. Is it no longer Moxie? It's Sayora. Yeah, no. Okay. So, say, all you right. So, it's hosted by Sayora now. Can you hear me a little bit? I just found that out. No. <laughs> News to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness Ooh. oh lord <laughs> see you need to all right talk. Uh, thank you all so much make sure that everybody follows everybody on all the social media we will make sure to post um everybody's links and things um um on uh on the fifi page um so make sure that everybody follows folks and I am so happy that we got to do our onesie party this year with all of you fabulous folks. Um, and the folks that are watching and listening, we're back to being a hot mess on our onesie party and we're okay with this. Um, it is literally, it, it is, it is the one episode a year where things just go off the rails and we know this, we know this and we're okay with it because for the rest of the time, we're pretty okay with keeping on track with stuff. So this is the one time we get to just say, fuck it and do whatever, you know? So <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we will have more guest announcements uh, coming soon, probably in the new year as we uh, get more uh, people and dates nailed down, but we have some exciting folks in the works. Um, but thank you all who, watch um and who watch on the replay who download the podcast what are we up to in terms of downloads for the podcast felicia you're muted i can't hear you felicia you're muted i can't hear you i must have muted did you um so um we're almost at seven thousand, but uh cambodia slowed down a little bit uh, <laughs> I'm not they, mad about you know about seven thousand downloads for the podcast. I'm okay with that. Like, they were they were having mm, technical issues, <laughs> connectivity issues. If you will, they ran out of chicken salads. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, thank you all for being here, and thank you for all that watch live and watch on the replay and on the podcast. Uh, we want to thank all of our guests for causing a hot mess of the night. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> I feel like I was pretty Expert. safe. This onesie party. I was pretty quiet. You know, I, I'm tired. This is nothing. You know. Uh, it, <laughs> I'm a little friend. tipsy. I'm a little tipsy. Parental? I had two bottles. You know. I went through two, two bottles in this too. podcast. Y'all and with that being said, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.